So uh, I don't find it at all inconceivable uh, uh, with the reserves that were stored in the Philippines, supposedly by the Japanese commander, and uh, and uh, the the reserves in the uh, other countries such as the UAE and uh, Saudi Arabia. That that. Uh, that, that would be uh, inconceivable would not be a proper word uh, whether it's probable or not I can't judge why don't we now listen to another section of the tape in which mr. Marcos discusses his holdings of gold this illuminating section can be found in the transcript beginning on page 15 mr. chairman yes uh, one reflection you might have is if a man has a half a billion to a billion dollars in cash accounts I don't think it's unusual that he might have 10 or 15 times that much in portfolio or gold or silver, precious metals. Uh, if I had a million, if I had a, a billion dollars in, in cash money, which is, that is inconceivable, incidentally, then uh, I don't think it would be highly inconceivable that I'd have uh, another 14 billion in, in a portfolio of stocks, bonds, or gold, or combination thereof. So. I, it's, it's hard for me to answer that question except to speculate as I have. Okay. Well, Bob, you want to play the tape? Do you remember, there were advances made to us. Uh, we didn't sell them. I don't want to know about that. You know, it was actually the silly body. Yeah, but now they're going to trace the gold account find out where you're keeping the gold. That's what, another thing we're worried about. Okay. So what really happened is that most of this gold was stolen and there was something left. Now, but because the gold price is moving up, to allow and go on the car, refuse to finalize the contract. Who's the but governor of the Carros? The Central Bank in the Philippines? Oh, yes. I, okay. I put it through him. So we did not do anything in regard. But he's going to say it's your money. It is my money, but it, I borrowed it from these people who were, who were buying the gold. They wanted first chance to buy it. And I said, all right, well, but uh, we cannot agree on the price. Is he still in the Central Bank over there? Yes. He's dead. Yeah. A dead man can't talk. But the, uh, we have the papers showing that it was authorized. And they allege it. Are they going to challenge the papers' authenticity of the papers? They cannot because they even uh, submitted it. Do you remember the picture you were going to get with, uh, when you were talking about the veterans' gold that you own and the man was going to give you a picture so nobody could ever question that it was yours or something or sign a certificate? Isn't that dangerous to do that now? Well, no. What I want to do is to get the old receipts. How can you get them? They're probably in Manila. You're not going to get them. So, you, you're trusting too many people is what I'm saying. No, no, no. These are people who I did not choose. I was the source of the gold for, for the land of Peter. We had gold, jewelry, uh, you name it, silver, tungsten. You were their leader. Yeah, and uh, they were turning into outlaws. Because there was no bounty, there was no research, there was no medical service, there was no education. So I had to come here to the United States and work for them, and we got it. But in the meantime, it took two or three years to pay them, and they were turning into outlaws. And uh, they were the top of the entire Philippines. But weren't you entitled to keep the gold? I mean, wasn't it? it's your gold. Yeah. You uh, earned it. No, no, no. no. All, we organized somebody. Most of it was mine, because this answer, so we were the ones who found it. Of course, this son of a gun away. You remember there's somebody who, who filed an intervention in the Rico, California, you know, saying that I stole the gold, the gold, gold and Buddha from him, and the other um, gold uh, treasure of the master. Can he prove it? Hmm? Can he prove it? That's what I asked him. Why, if you can prove it, why don't you and I talk? Okay, he can't prove it. And uh, he said, you son of a gun, you thought that I was started to curse me. You know that whether to get the gold, but not from you. And he said, all right, not from me, but from my principal. 
okay, I said, uh, why don't they strike a bargain? Why don't you start now, George? Because I don't know what it is. But they'll trace it to you. Mm -hmm. they'll, they'll trace it to you and they'll attack you. But it is yours. I mean, you, you thought it's your, your, your gold. So I want to tell you that we can easily pay off this. Pay it back. Of course. I got that gold. Oh, you told me. $4,000. tons. Or $4,000. $4,000. Thousand. Thousand tons. You know how much that is? $500 an ounce? 